everybody. Retro 604 here, Airblade Team Pilot. Today I'm going to talk about custom motor mixing and how you can use it to fix a couple issues with your quad. The main two issues we're going to fix with mix commands is your motor port failing or if you've screwed up and mixed up your signal wires during your build. Those two issues we can fix quite easily with uh, mix and we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, you can see the commands I have listed over here. This is actually the default setup for Quad X that we're looking at here. So, motor 1 is actually motor 0 when you're talking about the commands. So, this here is the relevant data for the rear right motor, which corresponds to motor one. Now, what happens if you've messed up these locations? Say that you've swapped your motor wires around by mistake and motor one is actually, is actually where motor two is and motor two is where motor one is. Well, that's pretty easy. All we're gonna need to do is swap these numbers around and dump them into the CLI and you'll be good to go. What we're gonna do is swap these numbers around and input it into CLI and that will swap the motor locations. Now keep in mind, if you go to spin these motors up in the motor tab or in BL Heli, they're still gonna spin as whatever you've got the signal wires as. So if you slide up the motor tab one, it's still gonna spin the motor in whatever location you actually have motor one in, but the quad won't care when it flies. All the quad cares about is what these numbers say. It doesn't matter where the motor locations are or where you've wired them up. As long as these numbers are correct as to the orientation of the motors, you're good to go. So if we're gonna swap motor one and two around, that's really easy. We'll just go change this to motor one, this to motor zero, We'll copy this entire command. Now we're going to go into here and change the mixer settings to custom and save and reboot. The reason why we do this is to make sure that Betaflight will accept these commands that we're going to put in. Sometimes if you leave it on quad X, it won't accept the custom mix commands. So all we're going to do is just cut and paste control V to paste this into the CLI and hit enter. Now you can see that our mix numbers have now changed and are in order. It doesn't care what order you type them out in. So this is now swap motor one and two around. We type save and enter to finalize the command. Now if we go back into CLI and do a dump, We can see that our mixer commands are in there now. So that's how you swap motors around in CLI. Uh, keep in mind, it doesn't matter what motor, so motor three, four, if you've got them all wrong, you can swap them around. Just put them to the right location based on that chart showing you which motor goes where. The next issue we can fix with mix commands is if one of your motor ports is blown. Uh, I've seen this happen a few times. A motor port just fries and it's not coming back. Most flight controllers have up to four extra ports. So if you lose any one of your original four, it's not a big deal. You can just use another one and your flight controller will still be flyable. So to add motors to mix, all we're going to do is add another number at the bottom here. So let's just take, let's just say, for example, that motor two has failed. 
your Motor 2 port has failed. So let's take Motor 2 here, copy it, and paste it down at the bottom. So we've obviously got too many motors here. We can't have that. So what we're going to do is we're going to first change this to 4. Now remember, it starts off at 0, so 4 is going to be motor 5. That's motor port 5 is mix 4. So let's change this here. that looks better but we're still have got two commands that have the exact same location we have to actually disable this motor port to do that we're going to change all these numbers to zero except for the first one you have to leave the first number at one or it won't work so zero 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 again we're going to take this copy it change it to custom go into the command line interface and paste it in there then type save verify your commands are in there with a dump And then we can check to see if that worked. If we go to the motor tab now, you can see we've got an extra motor here. So that's how you fix a bad motor port using mixed settings. There is one other trick with mixed settings that I'm going to show you. So what happens when you have a hex or something that is really weird or you've really screwed up and one of your motors is spinning the wrong way, et cetera, et cetera. Now you probably want to get the soldering gun out and fix that and put it back the way it should be. But if you can't or you're too lazy or you just want to mess around with something weird, I've been using this mixer calc for quite a while. I don't know exactly who made it. It's not listed on the site here, but it's at iForce2D.net, and I will post the link to it as well as all the relevant commands for this video in the comments below. But basically what this allows you to do is do custom motor mixes without doing it all out on paper. So you can see that you've got it set up by default as a quad X configuration. This was generally used in the past to do custom mixes depending on where the quads motors were. Um, we don't really use that anymore, especially, well, if you use an X quad, you don't need to do it at all because all your motors are equal distance apart. Now, if you want to get technical, if you were using a flying frog design or something like say the Atom, what you'd actually want to do is set this up to be the way that the atom is. You can specify the numbers, the distance through measurement with these commands over here. And once you've done that, you can go down here and you've got your commands, your custom mixer commands. Basically, this helps the quad during tuning. If it knows how far apart your motors are, it can better adjust the power based on that. Again, we don't use that anymore. I'm not sure why, but this is still a useful tool because you can just delete all these motors yourself and build up your own configuration. Like say if you want to have all the motors backwards on your quad for whatever reason you want to, all you have to do is just set it up like this. If you want that set up on your quad, you can have it. Just 
wire the motors the way that they should they are normally and cut and paste this command into CLI the way I've showed you with the previous two issues. This is fairly advanced, so I don't recommend messing with it unless you know what you're doing, but it's a last resort fix if you've really screwed up your motor locations and your wiring. That's about all I've got for today. Good luck and hope your quad stays in the air.